Gates is not your water coming to a boil. It's our nightly checkup on the Something for Nothing crowd. It's tea time. As you know, if you point out that the Tea Party is virtually all white, you're the racist. Of course, that does raise the interesting question of why the Tea Party would feel compelled to have what one of its leaders called a minority-based Tea Party event. The scorecard from the rally is Saturday outside Independence Hall in Philadelphia. 18 speakers, 10 of whom were non-white. For the Philadelphia Inquirer, an estimated crowd of 300, about 15 of whom were non-white. Not a problem, said an African-American speaker named David Webb. I didn't realize that any movement everywhere had a minimum daily requirement of black people to be legitimate. Except given the group's history, the fact that the majority of speakers were not white might easily explain how the low turnout, lower even than most tea parties. Organizers had 1,500 bottles of water already on ice, all ready for the crowd, and most of them went untouched. But it gets worse. According to a series of news reports, another public event in Philadelphia the day before may have drawn anywhere from twice to three times the crowd of the minority-based Tea Party event. The opening of that city's first Apple computer store.